Hi everyone. Good morning. So today's class, I'm going to tell you about BDD Cucumber Framework. So how you have to explain in the interviews about BDD Cucumber Framework, we are going to discuss now. So BDD, so Behavior Driven Development. So Cucumber Framework, we can also call it as a BDD Framework, Behavior Driven Development. So the main components of BDD Cucumber Framework is feature files and step definitions package. So step definition dot Java file and test runner dot Java file. So these are the main components of in BDD Cucumber Framework. So let's discuss about feature files. So Coming to feature files, so Cucumber or BDD is a behavior driven development framework. The test case objective or behavior is defined in a feature file under SRC test resources. A feature file contains set of steps to achieve a particular test objective. So every so like that, a feature file contains some set of steps to achieve a particular test objective. Okay, so a feature file in a feature file, we can write background key section and scenario and scenario outline. Okay, so like that, a feature file can be defined. Every step, so every step can be developed in a feature file. Every step can be developed by using any of the keywords as given, when, then, and but keywords. We can call this language as a Jerkin language. Like this, scenario and scenario outline steps are defined in a feature file. Okay, so let's go to about feature file. So here under SRC test resources, the feature file, here it is a nationality dot feature file. So which contains background key section and follows scenario. So here the set of steps given when and then. So these keywords, so every step we can call it as a keyword. So by using keywords as given when and then, we have written the test case objective. See here, this is the test case automation, how to create a skills record in an orange HRM application. See background key section means it contains some common reusable steps, which can be executed for every scenario. So generally in background key section, launching of the browser, opening the application URL, such kind of common reusable steps, which can be written in a background key section. Coming to scenario, so the actual steps implementation, enter username, password, and go to skills page and create skills record and click on logout and all the actual steps of the implementation we have written in the scenarios. So simply we can define a scenario. A scenario steps can be executed only once for a particular predefined input values. So scenario steps can be executed only once for a particular predefined input values. Okay, so a feature file which also contains scenario outline section as well. So in scenario outline, the steps can be executed multiple times for each set of input data as defined in the example section. So this is the scenario outline. See here, the scenario outline so here the nationality record. So these all steps can be executed multiple times. So the set of steps can be executed while creating uh, all these steps can be executed multiple times for different sets of input data. So first time these all steps can be executed. These all steps can be executed first time with for the nationality record as Indian 211. And second time, the set of all these steps can be executed for Indian 212. 
and again the set of steps which can be executed for indian 213 so like that these all these steps can be executed multiple times for different sets of input data as defined in the example section so like that scenario outline it will works so the difference between scenario and scenario outline is in scenario the set of steps can be executed only once with a predefined input values whereas in scenario outline the set of steps which can be executed multiple times as defined in the example sections so like that scenario outline it will works in the future file now let's go to the next concept data tables so data tables so to achieve parameterization we can use data tables in a feature file for a particular step we can write parameters and corresponding input values see here when user navigates to login page, I specified parameter name as username and password, and I have defined values as admin and admin123. And for this parameter as name as nationality, and I have specified my input values. Mm -hmm. So a particular step which contains some parameter and corresponding input values. Mm -hmm. So in a feature file for a particular steps, we can write parameters and corresponding input values. And to get these input values under step definition dot Java file, we have to create a data table object. See here at the middle level, I have created a data table object because to get the input values, to get the parameter values of username and password, I have to create object data table object at the middle level. See, I have written list of map string comma string and data table object is equal to data one is equal to data table object dot as maps of string dot class comma string dot class and string username is equal to data table object dot so the list object dot uh, so the data table object dot get off zero dot get off parameter name and the data table object dot get off zero dot get off password so like that i'm able to retrieve the input values from the feature file to from the uh, of the feature file to into step definition dot java file so like that, we can able to achieve the parameterization. So the difference between scenario outline and data table is in scenario outline, all the steps are executing for each set of input data. But whereas in data table, the particular step only executed. See here, I created nationality record. Only this particular step can be executed multiple times for different sets of input data. Okay, so like that, the data table, it will works. So like that, we can able to achieve parameterization by using data tables concept in Cucumber. So coming back to hooks concept. See, under SRC test, under SRC test Java, under strip definition package, I have written hooks.java, which contains at the rate before and at the rate after annotation tags. So generally, hooks is a common snippet of code which can be globally executed before and after scenario. So simply, hooks is a common snippet of code which will be globally executing for every scenario, for every before and after scenarios. So like that, hooks concept can be used in Cucumber. Okay. Now, now let's come back to the testrunner.java class file. See, the testrunner.java class file. So we are going to discuss about third component, testrunner.java class file. So we discussed about testrunner.java class file, which contains at the rate cucumber options. See, this is the at the rate cucumber options it contains. So generally in cucumber options, we can specify features is equal to class path dot features. Class path dot features. And we can specify slash nationality dot feature or skills dot feature file. 
so whichever feature files that you want to execute you can specify in the feature section and glue is equal to we can specify where the step definition dot where the where the each and every keyword that step definitions package has been implemented that package name we have to specify step definitions package we have to specify in the glue section plugin so what kind of reporting part that you want to generate so here i want to generate cucumber html reports so i have specified cucumber html report plugin and if i want to generate extend report html plugin so in the plugin section i can specify extend reports html plugin like that and tags is equal to at the rate smoke test so the each and every scenario might belongs to particular group of uh, particular group so if i want to execute smoke test related scenarios i have to write at the rate smoke test the scenarios might belongs to some scenarios are belongs to regression test group so i can write at the rate regression test so that only regression group of scenarios can be executed so like that at the rate cucumber options can be defined in testrunner.java class file so basically the testrunner.java class file which can be used to execute your feature files and glue is equal to we are specifying where step definition dot java file package has been implemented and what kind of reporting part that you want to generate you have to specify in the plugin section and tags which of the group of scenarios that you want to execute do you want to execute at the rate smoke test or do you want to execute at the rate regression test so we have to specify which group of scenarios of the test case that we want to execute so that those particular group of scenarios only can be executed and the latest framework of cucumber at the rate cucumber options are defined in junit.platform.properties file so we can write plugin so like that with key value pairs combinations also we can write like this so so cucumber.glue is equal to where is your package step definition package has been implemented and features is equal to what feature file that you want to execute so like that all the cucumber options are defined in a junit.platform.properties file and so in the latest framework of cucumber so it is defining like this instead of defining in the at the rate cucumber options those options are defining in a properties file so let's come back to the next slide the detail so what are various at the rate cucumber options so dry run it checks if all steps have uh, if it checks if all the steps have the step definition so dry run is equal to true means it checks if all steps have the step definition features which of the features files that you want to execute glue where is your keywords where is your step definitions that java file package has been implemented and tags which of the group of scenarios that you want to execute monochrome is equal to true displays the console or console output in a re much readable format so that we can able to understand format so what what are the report formats to use so we can specify default value as false and we can specify whatever we want and strict is equal to true it will fail the execution if the strict is equal to true means it will fail the execution if there are any undefined or pending steps if any of the keyword implementation was not there in your step definition dot java file whenever you will trigger test runner dot java class file the program execution compilation only itself it is failed so it will if you are writing strict is equal to true definitely every keyword it must have to implement under step definition dot java file so like that these cucumber options can be defined in feature file so simply simply so the summary of the bdd cucumber framework is you have to talk about feature files feature file means which contains some set of steps to achieve particular test object in a feature file we will write background key section and by following background key section we can write scenario or scenario outline so background key means it contains some common reusable steps which can be executed prior to scenario or scenario outline so which contains common reusable steps so in a background key section we will write 
such as launching of browser, launching of application URL, such lines of code we will write in the background key section. And coming to scenario, the set of steps we can write in scenario to execute particular predefined input values. So the steps can be executed only once with a predefined input values. Whereas scenario outline the set of steps which can be executed multiple times for each set of input data as defined in the example section. And now come back, coming back to the step definition.java file for every keyword corresponding methods will be implemented. And coming back to the test runner.java file, which contains at the rate cucumber options. To execute the scenarios, we can use test runner.java file. And the parameterization concept we can achieve by using data tables concept and by using scenario outline. So in coming to data tables in a feature file, for every step, it follows corresponding parameters and values. And to implement those values and to get those input values at the method level, we are declaring data table object and we are writing list of map string, comma string and data one is equal to data table, data table object dot map of string dot class, comma string dot class and data, data table object dot uh, get of zero dot get of parameter names we are getting. So like that, we are able to retrieve the input values by using data tables. Even scenario outline in the example section, we are specifying the parameters so that the set of steps are executing multiple times. So what is the difference between data table and scenario outline? In scenario outline, the all steps can be executed for each set of input data as defined in the example section. Whereas in data tables, the so only particular step, if it contains multiple set of input data, only that particular step only, it can be executed multiple times for each set of input data. So in data tables, the scenario steps won't execute all the times. If a particular step contains multiple sets of input data, only that particular step only, it can be executed multiple times for each set of input data. And coming to hooks, which contains common reusable, which contains some common snippet of code, which can be globally executed before and after scenarios. So whenever you are explaining BDD Cucumber framework, you have to talk about feature files and corresponding scenario, scenario outline and background key section. And you have to talk about step definition.java file. And you have to talk about testrunner.java file about at the rate cucumber options. And you have to talk about parameterization concept by using data tables and scenario outline. And finally, you have to talk about hooks concept. So these things we have to explain in the interviews. Okay. Yeah. Thank you everyone. That's it on the BDD cucumber framework.